to go film a beach waves hair tutorial I almost said makeup tutorial a beach waves hair tutorial I haven't done one of these in a couple years I don't think but my routine has changed a lot I pretty much only use the air wrap for the most part but I've done some beach waves recently and I do it a little bit differently than I used to so um, I asked you guys on Instagram if you want to see an updated beach waves tutorial and you guys said yes so that's what I'm about to go record so this is the before this is my hair just like air dried um it is a little bit more unruly than normal just because i let the dogs outside um and it's so windy today so my hair was all over the place getting stuck in my eyelashes and so it looks a little bit more messy than normal but yeah this is the before i will show you the after once i'm done and this is the after i really love how this turned out today i love 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 when I do a makeup look or a hair look that I do all the time or that I've done already and then I go to film it and it like turns out even better. That doesn't happen all the time. In fact, quite the opposite happens most times. So I love when it works this way where like this is probably the best beach waves I've done in a couple years. I am so happy with this. It's like that messy, beachy, windblown hair look and I, I don't wear this that often any, anymore I do more of like that like blown out air wrap type of vibe but I just love this I feel very like fun fresh and uh summery so yeah really love the way that this turned out also let me see I feel like better lighting is over here I also did this quick little makeup look and I used uh, my MAC eyeshadows I feel like I don't feel like I need to do a tutorial on this just because it's it's so simple and I swear if I do like another like simple ass look, it's gonna come for me. But maybe in another vlog, I'll like walk you through this look or something because it's very simple, very quick, 
easy, but a little glam. Um, I've been really loving wearing lashes lately too. I just feel, I just feel very fancy. Um, but anyway, I need to make my bed. Let me pop you up here. Okay, well that was simple enough. Now it's time to do some dishes. from the grocery store probably a week ago now they're still lasting so well but you can see some of the leaves are starting to wilt on both and the water needs to be refreshed i'm hoping i can get at least another week out of these i try to just really take care of my flowers so that i get the longest life out of them but all of these flowers were $15 total. So they have a deal at my grocery store that you can get three small bouquets. They're three for $15, otherwise they're $7 each. Um, and so I like to kind of like mix and match. And right now I have these leaves up here, um, or like this greenery. I don't even know what that's technically called, that like kind. Um, that was a bouquet that I got back in March. That's still... <laughs> thriving maybe maybe it was may maybe i'm drink, being dramatic but that's still thriving so normally what i like to do is split these bouquets up into three separate ones so that i've got one for up here in the kitchen one for the living room and one for the bathroom but this actually worked out i used two bouquets for this one and it actually i think i'll do that from now on because it's so full um, normally it's a little bit more sparse but this looks really nice bright and colorful so i'm just going to kind of clean these up a little bit refresh the water and put them back um, and hopefully get another week out of them. So I just peeled off the dead leaves and I'm doing an angled cut on the bottom just to freshen this up. Okay, but these are my shit scissors. This one too. A lot of these leaves are dead on this one. I know a lot of these are wilting, but it needs some leaves. So I'm just gonna leave them because they're not like yellowing. Okay, these look really good. And these I'm not gonna be as particular with because I don't think it's as apparent as the other one. I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna go in and bulk and cut these 
So there's just a lot of flowers in here. And here is the after. I think even just, I mean, they weren't in bad condition, but they already just looked like brand new just because I took off all of the dead leaves and everything and freshened up the water. Even this guy that's got like these wiltier leaves because it's amongst the fresh ones still, I think they look super fresh, especially for being a week old. I'm gonna put this one in my living room. Beautiful, wow, I don't think anybody's ever seen uh, this guy sleeping, wow. <laughs> He's been on one today, like crazy off the wall since like 5.30. I'm so happy to see him sleeping. Let's see which angle do I want this to go? Cause this is gonna go in my bathroom. And so only like one direction is really visible. I think that looks good. I'll put these in here. Okay, I might mess with the way that they're facing in a little while, but I think that looks good. I love hydrangeas, they're so beautiful. I realized I don't have milk, <laughs> so we need to run to the store really quick. That's a lie though, I did have milk, it's just I don't drink it all the time, so I thought that I had enough from the last time I bought milk, but the expiration date is literally tomorrow, and I smelled it and ooh, not fresh, so. We are off to go to Walgreens really quick, grab some milk, and then when we get back, we can start making the blueberry muffins. to make the blueberry muffins. I've got all of my ingredients here. I will link the recipe that I'm doing down below. Um, works out, hopefully I don't mess up this egg because it's the only egg that I have and it's the only egg that's needed for this. I uh, got the freaking milk and the rest of the ingredients. And how cute are these? I got these very patriotic muffin tins, so, or liners, whatever.
good. So good. The whole house smells like blueberry muffins. I wasn't planning on eating this right away. I was planning on eating it for dessert later, but I can't help myself. I have to try this now. Honestly, even if it doesn't taste good, I don't even care. They're so cute. Mm. I would say it needs more blueberries. But look, maybe I just got a bad one, but I felt it as I was mixing it up, but I figured, oh, they're gonna melt, they're gonna expand. But like, I want every bite to be that much blueberry. Mm. Oh my God. This is so good. Okay, now I just put all of them here on this like little marble um, tray thing. I got, it's not a cutting board. I think it's just like for displaying stuff. Originally when I got this, I figured I would do like some sort of like charcuterie something or other, but like never made a charcuterie board in my life. So, um, Perfect for displaying muffins. I actually, I would use this for um, when we'd make tacos and we'd have people over. I'd like display cute things on here, but yeah, now I'm gonna have to use it more. I've just really been into baking different things and trying new things and oh, so worth it. Cause look at how good, so cute and so delicious. That might've been the best muffin I've ever had. I'm always so distracted by the cuteness in this room. So sweet. And you're so sweet, oh my gosh. Look at these two. Wow. So I was actually gonna go and get a candle. So the Fiji White Sands candle that I love that I thought was discontinued. I'm pretty sure that they are just changing the packaging because someone messaged me on Instagram to let me know about it. And then I went and I looked it up and on my end, it still said it was out of stock. And I'm like, what the heck? And she sent her screenshot. She's like, no, look, it shows that it's in stock. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? So I looked this morning and now mine looks like hers. So they did change the packaging and I wanted to go get it because they're on sale over the weekend. But, you know, it's like four o'clock and I think, because it's Saturday, I think I'm just going to sit. <laughs> uh, especially because I worked this morning. I did... My tutorial, I did some editing as well. Um, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna sit here with Azevia and watch Monte Carlo. Now that I'm looking at my bookshelf, I'm like, bitch, read a book. Gosh, maybe I'll do that. <sighs> I have all of these like summary books that I just have not read. I read Happy Place, that was cute. Maybe I'll do Malibu Rising. I think I'm gonna scroll on Goodreads really quick. See if anything sparks my interest. But I bet you I'm probably just gonna watch Monte Carlo because I'm in the mood to just kick back and relax. Also, we have to get some pretzel action. I feel like ever since PD came around, you guys aren't really seeing much of pretzel anymore because she's just very shy. She's independent. She has her own routine, does her own thing, and she's usually under a blanket anyway. And he is just so bold and in your face and obnoxious. Like, I bet he's gonna come run over here and tackle us. Yeah, he's over there being crazy. So, I feel like you guys don't see pretzel so much. So, here's our little angel. Here's our little angel. You're still my number one. Catch you with your little eyebrows. Ooh, you're so good. Ooh. <laughs> you watching the kids? Yeah. <laughs> A boy. I am gonna put on that movie and just relax. I, yeah, I can get the candle next weekend. It'll still, hopefully, <laughs> I was gonna say, it'll st still be there. Hopefully. balls on me. Cool. I just 
took the dogs outside to go to the bathroom and it's really cooled off. Well, it says it's 88, but the wind is blowing. So I think I'm gonna take them for a walk really quick. Let's go, let's go you guys, come on. Ooh girl, my girl wants to go for a walk, let's go, ooh. I've been taking them a lot the last like two weeks because it's just been so hot. It's been like high 90s. So now I looked actually before we left for the walk. It said 88, so it's still pretty hot, but the breeze makes such a difference. So they are just living their best life out here. They're so happy to be out here. Come on guys. Okay, we're wrapped up in a tree, okay. Yeah, yeah, they are just, so excited to be out here. I can tell when they've like really wanted to be out here because they just like pull on me. Oh, we've got poop, hold on. But yeah, I can just tell that they're loving this. Petey, he's already like laid down once. I try not to push him too hard. He's laying down right now. <laughs> Pretzel just, she could just go and go and go. Come on, bud, you got this. We had like a little section of all sun and that kind of did him in. It was only for like two minutes, but um, yeah, the rest of the trail is in the shade and we're headed back now, so. I'm glad we came out though. It's been a while and I wanna get back into the routine, but when it's like 100 degrees, it's <laughs> really difficult to get out here, so. Oh, come on, bud. <laughs> Petey. But when he does this, it's like, I don't wanna push him, you know? I don't know how much of this is he's exhausted and he needs a break or how much of it is he's just not used to activity in general and he needs to like warm up. I don't know, so I usually just carry him. Let's go, bud. Oh, okay. Good boy. See, if he gets up when I say let's go, then we're probably good to go. Good job, guys. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I ran out of chicken. I gotta cook it. I'm a good girl. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, good boy. 